<laughs> hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the living room on this weekend afternoon. It's starting to rain, so what better time to just sit back, relax, and watch a movie. And on today's agenda is The Atom Project, which is the latest release off of Netflix. Yikes. Okay, so what do I know about it? Basically what we all knew watching the previews, which is a young boy is confronted with his future self needing to save the world in a nutshell. But it looks like it's got great people in it. Ryan Reynolds is in it. We've got the dynamic duo team up again of Jennifer Gardner and Mark Ruffalo. We've got Zoe Zeldana. So in theory, it should be good. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing it and to be entertained because I do enjoy Ryan Reynolds movies. However, big caveat. Ryan Reynolds is really good at delivering what is promised. When you go and see a Ryan Reynolds project, you know what you're going to get, and he delivers. Bonus, yay. Everybody's happy. However, I would like for him to have the opportunity to do something that's not so Ryan Reynolds. I want to see him grow and stretch as an actor and, and just do other things. I think... I think that would be nice to see at some point in time. So on one hand, I'm hoping to see him do his thing. I kind of hope his character's not a Ryan Reynolds character. I think that would be a refreshing surprise. But other than that, I really have no expectations about this movie going into it. I go hoping to be entertained and to come out the end going, that was a well-spent hour and a half, two hours. So hopefully that's what we get at the end of it. So if this is your first time joining me, for reaction, welcome, just so that you know that I am a author. And so when I watch television shows and movies, I'm always looking at it from the point of story. Goal, motivation, conflict, dialogue, setting, characterization. So I will ask a lot of rhetorical questions that may or may not require an answer, just because I'm curious about why the content creator chose that way to tell their story. I also will bring upon it my own opinion based on research, observation, life experiences, I may react to something differently than you because you have led a different life than me. And that's what makes watching reaction videos fun is to see how somebody else approaches the same thing or concept. Yeah, so now that we've gotten that sort of out of the way, I say let's grab your big cozy blanket, grab your beverage of choice, and let's get to it. So we start off with Steve Winwood. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, not good. The song choice with this life or death scene is kind of an odd juxtaposition. <laughs> Enjoy this. Who talks like that? Did you order like a bully starter kit on Amazon or something? I mean, do you even hear yourself, Chuck? We talked about this. I didn't say anything. Shut up, Chuck. He's <laughs> <laughs> twice your size. Everyone is twice my size. I've seen babies bigger than me. I don't understand you. <laughs> Dad would. Oh, oh, poor kid. Oh, this kid. Oh, this kid. Adam, I'm headed out. Come and have your dinner. Okay, that's a pretty cool house. I dig that house. A lot. I would read and I would write and I wouldn't have to leave. Right, so here's the thing about time travel movies. is once you start messing with the space-time continuum, there's going to be plot holes if not multiple plot holes. So I'm hoping that whatever plot holes come to be are at a minimum, but I'm going to anticipate that there will be some, because there always is. I don't think we should be out here. I like that he uh, trusted his instincts and immediately ran back home. Take it easy. Yeah, where's your mother? On a date? Oh, with who? What? With who? What's his name? <laughs> I don't know. I 
this dog? The dog knows who he is. Careful with that. <laughs> okay, space time continuum. Does he remember meeting himself from the future? My merry way. Don't touch that. I was just looking. Don't touch my stuff. Is this a lightsaber? No, it's not a lightsaber. <laughs> Enough with the bat. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that bullet went straight through. That's good. Pass. Wait, 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 wait. Bullet? You were shot? <laughs> yeah, no, actually. No. No. I was stabbed with a bullet. What do you think, you <laughs> moron? Why are you here? Also class classified. What's with the lightsaber? It's not a lightsaber. Jesus. For some reason, this little interchange is delighting me. Just watching him argue and being confronted with himself as a smart aleck. <laughs> How do you know my dog's name? Because I named him. Where are you going? <laughs> Three, two, one. Everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> 12 year old me doesn't look a whole lot different than me now. I was just a lot less cynical. Tons less cynical. Believe me, I regret that. I had no intention of coming back to revisit this. Jesus. <laughs> Do you remember this? Remember what? This, right here, right now. You being here in 2022. Okay, I know you're going with this. I mean, if this is happening to me. You're wasting your that time. That means it already happened to you, right? Unless it works more like a multiverse where each ripple oh, creates an alternate it's time. It's a multiverse. My God, we watched too many movies. That's great. <laughs> My memory, our memories, they reform, they reconcile, but not while I'm here. Fixed time, what's that? So by being here and telling me this, you may have just changed my whole future? Honestly, your future is pretty tragic either way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> the space-time continuum. Always in flux. Hey. Yes. This is amazing. Isn't it, though? <laughs> oh, hey, Adam. Hello, Derek. You have a wonderful mouth mullet, and you must be very proud of <laughs> it. Oh yeah. Bye. <laughs> so then you start to question what's his relationship like with his mother in the future, and if she's still around. Because by that look in his eyes, I don't think she is. What? I just, you're kind of ripped. <laughs> Do you work out a lot? Because I don't just know have a thought and not let it come out your like mouth. That. Could be fun to just keep it in. <laughs> so when does all this happen? <laughs> oh, wait, do we get a lot of girls in college? Yet your big question is, do I get laid? Do I? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like that? Why don't you wear some of dad's clothes? Dad's clothes are still there. Oh. I keep waiting to wake up and miss him less, but that hasn't happened. Do Seems like it him? doesn't. It still happens. Missed him while I was here. Hey, guys. Enjoying our suspension? I remember these little turd burpers. Hey, man, we're, uh, we're just playing around. Quiet, Ray. This isn't about you. Chuck. <laughs> okay, so just give us give us a second, okay, Ray? Stretch out or something. You don't want to pull a hammy. <laughs> so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk over there and you're gonna raise your hands, and then you're gonna look Ray right in the eye. I'm gonna smile in a way that says I've waited my entire life for this moment. Like you can't wait to watch his soul exit his body. Then you're going to drop down to your knees and punch him as hard as you can in the private bathing suit parts. I'm sorry, the what? <gasps> <laughs> your banana mother. No, 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 no. That, that's not what we talked about. <gasps> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, Chuck, look, we made him cry. He's trying to lose. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh. You told me 
<laughs> but if you go near Adam again, I'll know. And I will find you, Ray. And I will pull bones out of your body. I will sharpen them, and I will use them to stab little Chucky over here. What did I do? Shut your mouth, Chuck, or I'll fill it with Ray's feet. <laughs> Be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. <laughs> God, I hated those assholes. <laughs> oh, poor little Adam. Who's this? <laughs> he had some time going through his things. That's my wife, Laura. You have a wife? No, we do not have a wife anymore. Oh. Intrigue. We lost his dad in a car accident year before last. That's tough. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, I have some idea. Aren't you grieving too? Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? My husband had a jacket just like that. Oops. This is a classic. I hope she doesn't go back and find that it's missing from the closet. Start the area scans for his jet. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. No! Okay, so yeah, we're like, what, a third of the way through the film and we don't know why he was running and who he's saving and why he's saving who he's saving. Do we? Yeah. So you came back for your wife, Laura. We're not getting into that. <laughs> She's my wife, too. You know what? We should get into that. Thank you. <laughs> and you were trying to get to 2018 because that's where she went before. Maybe she saw something that Sorian didn't want her to see. Wait, Sorian? My historian, dad's partner? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 he just liquidated a bunch of people? What? Oh, 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 a good baton twirl is always, always lovely. You know, for a guy that has a bullet hole in him, he's working pretty well. Want to see something cool? It's a lightsaber, dude. Quiet now. <laughs> Ooh. Anyone ever tell you you talk too much? Oh, Let's come out. <laughs> so you're risking your own young life over some paranoid delusion that I somehow killed Laura. I have a feeling Sorian also killed his father. <laughs> oh no wreck the house that's what i was afraid the house is gonna get wrecked no 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 you still have people after you you still have people after you <laughs> why are they escaping in a Wrangler. Mm. Oh no, oh no. Are they shooting them with bullets or with lasers? <laughs> this is how you crash into a tree. God, it's like I traded my brains for those muscles. It's a shit deal. Cute kid. <laughs> Precious. Here, eat something. I managed to reject, but it didn't matter because... <laughs> I'm gonna take my eyes and ears for a walk. I know. <laughs> I did that, that, I got shot. You got shot? By a gun. Reed? Yeah. Suck it up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, put an end to it? I mean, stop time travel from ever being invented and save the future. Ooh, ooh. Interesting idea. Adam! We meet in the program. We meet there. Do you understand that? We oh, can. oh. We never meet. We never happen. Laura. Says who? He doesn't know that. He doesn't we know that. Happen. You can meet in other Every ways. moment we ever had will always have happened. That cannot be a good sound. Those guys will 
kill you. No, they I, will I, kill you. I've had years to rig my defenses. They'll never see. She me. gonna sacrifice herself to give him a chance to go? I, I love you. That's why I know you're gonna find me again. God damn it! This is terrible, and I love it. It's so bad, but I love it. Epic love, how could you not? It's just... Oh, hello. Hello. I don't know if this is the strategy I would have made. Boom. It's good to see you, buddy. Lord, are you? Quit talking, just kill him now. Stop talking, just kill him now. We can fix it. By destroying time trap. And how are you going to do that? What's your plan? Well, I'm not going to explain my plan to a 12 year old nerd with an you inhaler don't because have I do not plan. have a plan that is correct. <laughs> but I know somebody who might. Father. Dad. Dad. You're going to find Dad. Nope. We're going to find Dad. Because that's the line that it had to be that line. It so had to be that you line. Right. <laughs> She's gonna die. This is horrible. She's gonna die. She had all those guns and took one with her. Hello, Laura. You should have stayed dead the first time. I feel as if she should have had more defenses. She's gonna kill you anyway. Say, kid, your call. We don't pull this off. We're not getting back, either one of us. Punch that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so. Yeah. Alive. Give me for a second. Alive. <laughs> oh. Adam? <gasps> Holy shit! Dad. <laughs> Dad. Holy shit. Dad? Is, is this time travel? It, there's, there's a jet. There's a jet, my oh. jet. I... And you flew this jet? Yes. Did you though? <laughs> my jacket looks a little tight on you, don't That's you think? That's what I said. It's fine. You look like a problem <laughs> with buttons. This is fun. <laughs> They shot him when he stole the jet. Please don't you tell him that. Stole Why would he need jet? to know okay, that? Stop. It's a stop. <laughs> Look, you stop talking now. <laughs> you can't be here. You can't be anywhere but your own timeline. Then why did you invent time travel? Gonna listen. For a second, I'm not gonna and listen, listen to, to me. Because what you are doing is reckless. In, <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, it's okay. I, I asked him nicely to shut up <laughs> and, and to listen. He did no such thing. It's okay. So. It's fine. I'm fine. So, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. We don't hit people in this family. What was that? That's a <laughs> God. Wait, it already happened? Somebody already altered time? Who? Soria. Maya? But she never do that. She knows the consequences. She's been funding my work for years. Nice hit, Dad. I think I broke my hand. <laughs> time. I told you Sorian already did that. And she's had the world by the balls ever since. And you know that for a fact. Do you have scientific proof that she changed things? Uh, he's there. He's there. I can't be here, Adam. I, I, have I think 12-year-old Adam would not look so different than 10-year-old Adam. Please don't go. I have to. And 10-year-old Adam should be running around there somewhere. He's not going to figure out that he's not around for 12-year-old Adam's life. And not figure out why. We'll see each other again. Hypothetical, and the work we're doing here is simply ahead of the current statutes. Oh, okay. So is this going to be a room. younger story? Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Because we can't control time travel if it never existed, and your buddy Adam Reed is about to betray you. Adam, he's just a little kid. She's going to talk her younger self into killing a little boy? That's so fucked up. So now what? 
Your dad's not going to listen. Time travel's already a birthed. Hmm. And I remember some stuff that you maybe don't want to. Oh, yeah. Like what? Play catch with us almost every night. I think it's easier to be angry than it is to be sad. And I guess when I get older, I forget that there's a difference. How'd you get to be so smart? How'd you get to be so dumb? <laughs> and hey, you got time. Is he realizing that he doesn't? It's later than you think. How did I live this long? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, well, when a bad idea is the only idea, it becomes a great idea. Who said that? You. Nine years from now, right before you get arrested. What? Try to focus, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so adult Adam is perfectly reconciled with the fact he's not going back to his timeline. However, 12-year-old Adam, I don't know, is old enough to make that decision. How are they going to get 12-year-old Adam back? There's nobody here, which means they're here. Sorry, and Mr. Warner, younger self, we were coming. You sure? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm about to get my ass kicked. Don't worry. He doesn't want to fight. <laughs> Look him in the eyes and smile. Smile in a way that says, I want this. I've been waiting my whole life for this. Then drop down and hit him in the private bathing support. Adam! It's a shield? It's also a shield. I am intrigued. Those cars, right? Watch that, middle-aged Adam. <laughs> Who's in the other car? Oh! Jesus. Oh, dead. <laughs> your mother's car the car <laughs> you're trying to break into a highly sensitive secure facility with a sixth grader i am not being critical i'm, I'm narrating i kind of dig how they gave dad a similar sorry, snappy dialogue as son let's do that okay 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 okay, okay. okay. so i'm gonna guess him scanning his retina is going to alert them all that he is there on the premises as well. Dude, kid, watch your back. <gasps> Are they going to shoot him from behind? What happens if you pull it out? One of two things. The accelerator will continue to run on a dormant loop. Or, or it blows up. There's a cataclysmic meltdown that will destroy all living things within 100 miles. It's going to blow up. That's a big rock. Screw it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to lose my shit here. Give her the drive. Give her the drive, man. Please, just, just give her it. the drive. Oh, oh, what? Oh, that's an intriguing thing. <gasps> okay. Music choices are so odd for these action scenes. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Kicked by a 12 year old nerd with an inhaler. <laughs> Supper time, Spanky. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, we. No. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Commence evacuation. Who's evacuating? 
Wait, commence evacuation? As in you need to evacuate or the thing is gonna evacuate itself? They're behind me, both of you. Look, those guns shoot armor piercing bullets, so even behind you, we're still Swiss cheese. Maybe spread out a little. Maybe <laughs> You're not a murderer. Yeah, she is. Do it! Maya, you're better than this. <gasps> Sorry, Lewis, but you brought this on yourself. Give it to me! Are we gonna see Maya jump in front of herself? This is an intriguing change of pace. And you never understood the science. <gasps> oh no, now what? How did I make it to the doors? You're still here. I figured after we eliminated time travel, you two would go back to your fixed oh. times. Well, it probably takes a while for 30 years of change time to sort itself out. That's how it's going to work. Interesting. I haven't been there for you. And I'm sorry. Leo. Okay. <laughs> I loved you, you from the first minute that I saw you, and that will never change. Adam. Dad. Really You're my boy. You're okay. amazing. I love you. <laughs> I get it, Dad. I don't think you know that inside your heart. No. Come here. Come here. I need you, Dad. It's so hard without you. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be better than okay. You don't know that. Are you kidding me? Have you seen <laughs> this guy? I can think of something. Play catch. They're gonna play catch. Oh. Oh. Really Wasn't their house destroyed? <laughs> Yeah, well, I need to pay the insurance on the house. Oh. It's in the calendar, but... Oh, you were at the wrong place, I think. That's subjective. No, I this mean, you're literally for in the wrong place. This is feral right? 309. No. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then I'm in the wrong I can I can walk you to Schaefer. Are you sure? I uh, I got time. So that was quite a sweet movie. The funny thing, it was just almost as if it was like three, three different movies, only because like the first 20, 30 minutes, I forgot there's supposed to be a plot because Ryan Reynolds is so freaking charming <laughs> and him arguing and like dealing with himself, a younger version of himself was so entertaining that I forgot that there was supposed to be a plot, but such as why was he shot? Who was he running from? Why did he end up in 2022? Totally forgot I wanted or needed to know that information for the rest of the movie to happen. And then we had the middle section, which was him going, okay, he was there to find his wife. Now, I thought he was originally going back to find his dad and missed the time line. But no, he was going to find his wife, which was uh, so... So proud, <laughs> so epic. Uh, yeah, that was all oh, him leaving her behind, just being so sad and oh, uh, this was terrible, but it was great in its terribleness. And then we had the last act, which was then him dealing and reconciling with his father. So yeah, it was almost as if it was three separate movies, but it still gelled and I still thoroughly enjoyed myself. I mean, that whole last scene, with his dad, well, it wasn't the last scene, but the scene where his dad obviously recognized older Adam needed to be told that he was loved and that he was proud of him. I think they hit it right. Because it wasn't addressed to younger Adam. Because 
younger Adam clearly didn't have the, as you say, no, he had memories older Adam doesn't have. And Lewis totally recognized that Adam was in serious pain and that was, there was serious disconnect there. And just told him over and over. That was a great scene. That was a great scene. Um, I did thought, think that Soren, Sorian had something to do with Lewis's death. So apparently she didn't. Um, I'm kind of surprised, which also makes me sad to know that Lewis is going to be taken from them anyway. But why Adam still ended up in the Air Force Academy, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he didn't learn as many lessons as he should have, could have from his time traveling time. I don't know. But yeah, there was a lot that I liked about it. And of course, a lot that was just like, really? 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 Okay, for example, him and Laura, Adam and Laura were awesomely good fighters with all these gadgets. And we are told that Earth's future is terrible and dire. Terrible and dire. But we don't know what the concept of terrible and dire is. You're given the example Terminator. It's like Terminator. Terminator on a good day. Or Terminator is 2050 in a good day. So apparently they need to know how to fight really, really well. I don't know if I need to know the context, but it's just a hole, a hole for me. It's, it's a stumbling block for me to be thinking about when really maybe I didn't need to think about it. Now, were the fight seats well choreographed? Yes, they were. They were entertaining. There were some new moves in there. We had the staff that was also a shield. That was all the other things. Entertaining, but I'm like, why do they need to know that? Again, just a stumbling block for me on, this, on the path of this journey. But in, as a whole, I'll just wrap it up here. <laughs> as a whole, I really enjoyed the Adam Project. I'll probably watch it again just to see if I can poke out other things. I did also enjoy that it was Ryan Reynolds, but him cranked down a bit. That's what I was hoping for. And that's what I got. And the man knows how to deliver. Yeah. Yeah, it was really great. And so I'm glad I watched it. And I'm glad that you were here watching this with me. I do hope that you had a good time on our journey. And I do hope to see you again soon. But before I go, let me just take you a little reminder. Did you take care of yourself today? Did you have something to drink that wasn't full of sugar? Did you walk around the house at least once? Have you eaten something? Please take a moment to take care of yourself because I want to see you again in the future because this is fun and I want to have more fun times with you. So thank you again for joining me and until next time, y'all.